Hello, I hope all is well. So it has been quite a long time since my last video. I found that having a kid makes it hard to find time for RuneScape and having a second kid makes it almost impossible to find that time uh, to play, let alone to make videos. But I'm back at it a bit and trying to just fit in little bits when I can. So I had this project I started almost a year ago. I was trying to build a pretty good Slayer alt, really just a Gargoyle alt to start and uh, maybe progress from there. But I started with this old Pure that I had that I'd made right when Old School came out when you could splash for six hours. It didn't have particularly good stats, but I figured rather than start from scratch, I would start uh, with this guy. So I went ahead and just started knocking out some quests like uh, Dragon Slayer and Monkey Madness just to uh, get those stats up a little bit before I even uh, went into the Slayer part of it. So to start out, I did send over 20 mil from my main for gear and supplies, and I was kind of curious of two things. One, would that be enough uh, to make it to 75 Slayer because I was going to be cannoning along the way? And two, would I actually possibly make a profit? So I started out getting 60 prayer and 60 attack. I got the 60 prayer because I figured I was going to be praying on a lot of these tasks. And over time, it would probably pay for itself just in the amount of uh, extra prayer points I got from the uh, prayer doses. So I found myself pe uh, slaying in some weird places because I was doing Wilderness Slayer at the beginning because I was trying to get those Larens keys to kind of offset the cost of cannoning and I ran into this weird bot farm. I looked like such a noob at the time. I didn't have 60 defense yet so I was rocking that full rune. Also didn't have 130 attack and def uh, strength combined for the defender. So I PK'd some of these bots. Uh, for their wines of Zamrock but I did manage to get there the 65 strength and attack so I would go ahead and get my rune and then the dragon defender and it would just make the uh, the kills a lot more efficient. I would start to get the experience a bit faster and that was really helpful. It is worth mentioning that the entire time I was playing this account while I was building it up, I was playing on my main so I was always doing something else. It is a true alt built uh, from scratch or rather from a kind of failed pure at first. Uh, so there's 60 slayer. There's 70 attack, gonna go ahead and switch over to the whip uh, to speed up those kills even further. I had to cut a bunch of gems because I had to get my crafting high enough uh, to make those rings of slayer because those are definitely needed for all the teleports. So a lot of RuneScape YouTube videos come with a sponsorship message. Not me, no, I've got something much better for you. Check this out, this is the greatest thing ever. Not just a mobile freemium game, it also comes with a mystery energy drink and a razor. That way you can engage in microtransactions while sipping this delicious, nutritious energy drink and afterwards you can shave. Tell me this isn't the best sponsorship you've ever seen. So I hope you guys did enjoy my fake sponsorship ad and I really appreciate anyone who actually uh, watched it and didn't just start spamming the uh, skip button as soon as you heard the word sponsor. So. Uh, Shout out to you guys, I appreciate that. So, um, open up these Larens keys here in the wilderness. I did get about 30 of them, but I just decided I would do uh, 10 at a time, three sets of 10, just in case I did get killed because it took quite a long time uh, to collect this many Larens keys because I did do a lot of wilderness slayer, uh, but I just kind of got burnt out. I was getting attacked a lot. Looks like I got about one point four mil on the first uh, set of 10. But yeah, I just kept getting attacked and I kind of wanted to switch to uh, just regular Slayer. I thought it would maybe be a little faster experience because I was starting to get to, I believe, like level 60. And, uh, you know, I was really wanting to prioritize that experience over the, uh, the GP. So I've always been a player that really enjoys the journey more than the destination in this game. And I think through the years I've built so many different pures and, and other types of accounts. I love that aspect of it, but then the uh, the finished product gets there and I'm like, well, well what now? So I'm, I'm hoping with an account like this I can make it a gargoyle alt, but then I can always continue into uh, something else, uh, eventually rune dragons maybe. There's 74 slayer, which means I have just one level to go. And so by this time, I was doing a lot of um, assignments in the catacombs of Karend when I could. I really, really enjoy that dungeon. I think it's a great place to slay. It's super AFK, uh, the multi-combat, and just having protect from melee on. Uh, it's just really useful. I actually got my range up to 74, and that's entirely on cannoning. I did not 
do any range at all other than that. And there it is, 75 Slayer. You can now kill Gargoyles. That is the ultimate accomplishment. Did not get the Gargoyle assignment. That is okay, though. All right, so here is my loot from the journey. Now, I did have to sell the Laren's Key loot along the way to continue buying supplies, mainly cannonballs, but this is just a lot of the just the general Slayer drops I got that I tried to save, and I went ahead and sold them all, but I just didn't include that clip because I hate making videos, you know, too much longer than they really need to be. But I sold all this loot for something like six or seven mil. Combine that with the cash I still had and all the value of the other stuff on the account, it's about 16 mil, so I did lose four mil, which really isn't too bad. I'm okay with that. Because here is the finished product, at least for now on the account, a level 93. All uh, about mid 70s and the melee stats, pretty low HP. This really is a fairly low level account for gargoyles, but um, here's the gear. Uh, obviously, no barrows gloves, don't have the quests, no fire cape. I'm really bad at that, but maybe I'll get around to it eventually. And it did take me about 120 hours, but remember that was entirely as an alt. So that's going to pretty much do it for this video. Thank you for watching. I do hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you next time.